Hey y'all, I just figured I'd do a quick little update on some of the things that I have going on in the fish room. Nothing too major changing, just adding a few new fish that I'm really excited about. You can see back here, Jake, Miss Murphy, and Elle Wood are doing good and just gave them a little water change and they should be good for a little while. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the aquariums that I'm working on. So this is the aquarium that I've been working on for the past few days. And my plans for this one is actually an avocado puffer. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but they're also called a green puffer or a golden puffer. And one of my local fish stores is going to be getting some in here in a few weeks or maybe a month or so. And I told them to go ahead and set one aside for me when they do come in. So I've got this set up with a nice sandy substrate, some egg rocks scattered in through here, and then some plants as well, as you can see. So I have some dwarf sagittaria over here in the corner i'm planning on letting that kind of carpet as well valicinaria in the back should grow up and kind of cover the filter this is some rotala rotundifolia red it's not looking too red right now because i think it's not getting enough iron um, i have some more val in there there's some mermaid plant hanging out right in there that's a dwarf aquarium lily which i think is going to be nice to see growing its stems all the way up here to the surface and letting those leaves really kind of cover the surface. And then also have some uh, Monte Carlo sitting right there in the corner that'll kind of carpet as well. There's some hornwort, hornwort floating around in there. And the next addition that I'm gonna do is add a piece of driftwood at an angle right through here. And then I hope to have some limbs or some twig to give it a little bit more structure over here and then kind of be long over on this side and then I'll set that driftwood up on some rocks so that the fish have places to get under and hide things like that I have a bunch of snails in here keeping it cycled and cycling the tank I am feeding them a little bit of flake food every now and then as well so that kind of keeps the the cycle cycling and and bacteria populating so that it's 100% ready when these puffers, or just one, this puffer comes in. A 20 gallon is about the minimum for one of these avocado puffers. I have a 50 gallon or a um, AquaClear 50 filter on this aquarium. So it, the water is being turned over around 10 times per hour, which is ideal for um, again for a puffer because they are messy eaters especially eating snails and things like that there will be things that they miss They're stuck in the shells and things like that and they also don't like to eat dead food or old food obviously I, I wouldn't like to eat old food either you need a lot of filtration for puffers you need to do a good bit of maintenance i'm going to leave this whole part open and this is where I'm going to do the main amount of feeding so that hopefully this just kind of stays as sand and I can easily spot clean and um, clean up any debris or um, waste that builds up in this area and without having to disturb the plants as much I'll still be able to go in there and clean up spot clean as needed. Also having all of these plants is very beneficial. That helps keep the, um, the nitrates pulled up. But they also help pull out a little bit of nitrates and uh, nitrites and ammonia. And they look great, honestly. I couldn't imagine enjoying and having aquariums and having fake plants and fake pink, blue gravel in them. That's just definitely not me. Nothing against anybody who does, but I feel like if you're gonna keep fish, you really need to try to simulate some kind of nature, natural environment. And there is no pink painted gravel rocks in nature. There's no orange plastic plants in nature. Um, there's sand, there's rocks, there's dirt, there's snails, there's plants. That's just what I'm trying to simulate here. Um, and that's the main thing that I'm working on. I also have a couple of other fish that I'm wanting to bring in and I have my quarantine tanks already ready for those fish. And I'll be sure to do an update when they come in and let you guys know what they are. So be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that.